Welcome to the Aloe Yoga Store here in Beverly Hills. My name is Andrew Seely here to give you a how-to on Warrior 2. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and comment and like below. As you may not know, Warrior in Sanskrit is Virabhadrasana. So when we come into our Virabhadrasana 2, our goal is to basically set up in a triangle pose. So we want the legs nice and wide our ankles to be under the wrists. Now I'm going to go ahead and point my left foot forward. Notice that I have heel to arch alignment. Heel to arch alignment is pretty good. It allows the hips to open, and it also allows us to really stand into our balance. If I find that my left foot is more to the left or more to the right, I won't have that balance and that straight line to allow my body to fully extend into my warrior two. First thing here, I'll engage my right quadricep, and I'll press into the corner edge of the back foot. I have a little bit of an angle on the back foot so that the heel is further towards the back of the mat than my pinky toe. I'll engage as I bend my left knee forward, allowing the knee to stack over the ankle. Notice that I'm not sinking into my hips, my chest isn't forward and my bottom isn't back. I wanna find a lightness through my legs lifting the leg up from the inseam, allowing the arch of the back foot to be strong. As I engage this quadricep, I move the left knee forward and find the lightness in my arms. The more that I tuck my tailbone here, the more that I'll find length through the crown of my head as I allow the fresh energy to circulate throughout my body perhaps sitting a little bit down into the hips and finding perhaps even a 90 degree angle. As you breathe here, utilize the inhales to lengthen through the spine as the exhales ground you into the feet. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, I'll windmill the arms down to the earth, pivoting onto the ball of the back foot, stepping left foot back to meet the right. Chaturanga on down. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Just to reset, feel out your body. Now the majority of you will enter your warrior two this way would be a lift of the right leg through your vinyasa, stepping the foot forward, planting the back heel. Most teachers like the windmill up to your warrior two. As you stack your knee over your ankle, think of lifting the arch. Same thing with the back foot. The heel is a little bit beyond the pinky toe as I lift and roll the quadricep up, lifting from the interior of the leg allowing the front knee to move forward. I then match with my hands. You might even want to look back at your left hand, see what it's doing. Perhaps it's too far up or too far down. We want to find that nice and level left hand. As I place my gaze over my right hand, I can then sit into the hips, dropping the tailbone, scooping the abdominals, finding that sense of lightness through your stomach. As you extend through the crown of your head, place your gaze over the right fingers. Three deep breaths. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale, hands come down to the earth, pivot onto the ball of the back foot, look forward, step the foot back, chaturanga. Inhaling up to your up dog. Exhale, down to the down dog. Look in between the hands, step hop, jump it forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, full forward fold. Rise up with your breath. Exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you all for joining me in this quick how-to on Warrior 2. Go ahead and subscribe to check out more awesome videos like this.